Yo, what's going on you little cheese addicts, you little rats, it's your boy Problem here dropping another video for you guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, I hope you guys are looking forward to your Thanksgiving break, but today we're gonna have a OG video, a story time video, and this story time video is gonna be called Bring It On, as you guys can see in the title of the video, and this is gonna be a very, very cringy and I guess pretty funny video, and as you guys, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the title, Bring It On. It was a cheerleading movie. I think it was a three-part movie. It was like a series. It was a trilogy. I'm not even sure. But the one I'm specifically going to be talking about is the one, the very first one with the, the main character was the girlfriend of Mary Jane, the girlfriend of Spider-Man. She was the main character in Bring It On. So, you know, me and my sister... We watched Bring It On, you know. Honestly, I'm not gonna front. Your boy was seven, all right? I was still trapping to the side, all right? So don't be getting mad at me, you little rats. I was trapping to the side, but you know, I would cheerlead <laughs> as a hobby. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't cheerlead. I just thought that it was so amazing. I thought that, oh my god, cheerleaders. These motherfuckers are doing backflips, 360s, Y2Js, quadratic formulas, and square roots with their bodies and shit. So I was like, oh my god, this is intense. This looks OG. So... You know, me and my sister would watch that movie every single time, dude. In the, <coughs> excuse me, in the VCR, I think. I'm pretty sure it was the VCR. I don't even know, dude. But we had, we had the movie. We had the movie. So it was an old ass movie, guys. And me and my sister would like watch them perform, and we would rehearse them. Like we would take the time out of our day to replicate, replu. Oh my god, to emulate, I should say, to emulate the dance moves. And we were like, oh my god, this is G. Then we would be like, ah, ah, you know, get into it. Your boy was out here, your boy was out here doing flips and landing on his neck and shit. And uh, we would try to rehearse it as best as possible. And then me and my sister were a bunch of goofballs. I think she was 11 and I was 7 because she's always 4 years older than me. And we would go and perform it to my mom. And my mom would just laugh at us. And like, well, she would just laugh, you know, enjoy. Enjoy the dances. She better have because your boy blood, sweat, and tears in those dances. But nevertheless, guys, I always watched this one particular move that outstanding me that it captivated me and it was the splits all right i've seen motherfuckers do l's dude they were flat on the floor doing the splits and shit i was like oh my god dude how do they do this young man has to know how to do this and then i was like okay i'm gonna do the splits no matter what i would do the splits I was determined, guys, and then I was like, okay, I watched it over and over, I watched the movie over and over, and I just seen guys do 360s in the midair and then land flat on the splits and shit. They landed as flat as a toothpick, guys. That's how beautiful it was, and I was like, I can do this, you know. My dumbass, not thinking right, not knowing that these guys are professional professional actors professional gymnasts they probably did they were probably gymnasts for like several several years and me straight out the trap trying to do a split so here's where we jump into the story so i seen this i seen them perform and i was like i'm gonna do this no matter what so i started practicing little by little you know i would try to go as far as possible and then i will feel the the you know the the hurting feeling of you stretching something that isn't supposed to be stretching. Well, yeah, that was the case, guys. I was trying to stretch my legs as far as possible, and I would do that. I think it took, like, two to three days before, like, the scary, scariest thing happened ever. So I was practicing for two to three days, trying to do the splits, you know. trying to Your ma young man was trying to master it, basically. So... I was doing it and doing it and you know what it wasn't happening so I was getting frustrated and I would keep watching the movie trying to see if there was like a secret to it or something like you know any superstition about it and there was none at all dude <coughs> so I was mad and then um, one day one particular day me and my sister were watching the movie and we were looking at stuff to rehearse and then I seen someone do the splits and then I got angry dude I remember this so vividly I got angry and then I stormed into my room dude not even I wasn't stomped, guys. I stormed into the room. Yep. So then I was in my bed, chilling, you know, chilling. Then I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not going to let this shit bring me down. Nobody's going to drag me. I'm just kidding. So I stand up and I try to do the splits. I'm trying to do the splits as as I, I, don't, I was determined, guys. So then I, I tried to do the splits and it wasn't working. I just kept feeling the burn. And then my sister walks in. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? Then I'm like, I'm trying to do the splits. And she's like, oh, you're not doing it right. 
um, out, let me help you out. And me thinking that just because she's four years older than me, she's a professional and everything. So she's like, okay, here. And she grabs both of my legs, like, from my ankles. And she starts stretching them out, guys. She starts stretching my shits out. And I was like, oh, this shit is hurting real bad. And she's like, if it hurts, it's working. And then I was like, oh, my God, dude. I'm very close to doing the splits. And then she... She recharges, guys. She has the nerve to recharge. So she brings my legs together, like my legs were parallel to each to each other, touching. And then, with all her force in the world, she stretches them out, and we hear a big ass crack, like a rah, like legit, like that. Picture designer doing the rah. That's how it sounded, guys. And I was in tears, dude. Legit in tears on the floor. And I was like, oh my god. My pe- my penis is gone because you know I knew about you you know you discovered yourself so don't judge me young boy was a pimp at seven years old so I was like my baby maker is gone my baby maker is gone there's nothing I can do that's just gonna be looking like the Squidward nose it's over it's over my penis it's over I'm gonna be looking like Squidward out here you know guys know how horrendous his nose looks. I go crying to my mom, and all my mom says, you are retarded. She basically spits in my face while I'm down. Everything turned out fine. Don't worry, guys. I still have a 10-inch penis. I'm kidding. But you know what? That was the story. More of the story. Don't ever let anyone encourage you to do this place at a very young age. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you guys giggled throughout the video or laughed or smiled. Everything counts. Remember, like, subscribe, share the channel. Have a blessed week. Peace.